Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, so, this as you know is my Prusa i3 Mark II and I've had some problems lately. So if I come in here, you can see that whilst this one here looks like a better first layer, although still not the best, come here and look at that. It almost looks like under extrusion or the bed, the nozzle is too high from the bed. Now, what's been happening with this is that whenever I print something along here, it will look a better first layer here than when it gets down here it's almost as if the bed is angling downwards now the thing is with this the auto be um, auto mesh bed leveling so when the pinder probe goes to each point should stop that because sh it should account for that and you know change this in the software um, before each print now what I did was design a quick STL which would just do a circle in all these spots here so each corner and at the far edges and then four around the center and as you can see it goes to the top so this was where it started and actually it just went to start the uh, second perimeter up there and it's not too bad it's not the best it still looks a bit too high if anything like the nozzle is pushing and mushing the uh, filament up slightly then we come down slightly and pretty much the same and we come down here and look at that so the nozzle is way too close there and dragging everything up and all the way along the front you have the same issue. So what I was doing before, before I did this print, was in the auto level home option. So if we come down here, try and keep this from shaking too much. Okay, and I'll select this. And we go down to calibration. And then before the main ones you use, there's actually a couple more, which I didn't even realize were there. And you go to bed level correct. And here you can adjust this. So I had to get the left side at first all the way um, so the nozzle would account for it and essentially make the bed higher or make the nozzle lower on the left side all the way to the maximum. The maximum it does is 50 microns and it still wasn't enough so then I had to move the right side the opposite by 19 microns. When I did it to 30 it kind of mushed that filament up a bit too much. But now as you can see from here as we know the front side is still a bit too kind of high so we'd have to change the calibration there and then randomly that top right corner look at that an absolute mess yet those ones at the top nowhere near as bad as that one so the thing is for example if you want to print taking the whole bed into play or you want to do one print but a load of times and you want to do one there 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 you may have nine things you want to print out um, of the same thing, for example, I need to do some key rings for people, and the best thing to do that is to print as many as possible on the bed. But you're not going to get the same results, and it's definitely going to hit one and kick one up. And that's what happened before when I tried printing, especially in this corner here, almost every time, unless I used a lot of glue stick. Now, if the Pinder probe is meant to probe each thing and account for this, this shouldn't happen, full stop. You shouldn't even need to do that level bed option because the probe should do that for you. So, what is the probe doing? It might account for X, Y, skew, you know, if the bed is tilt, like move this way or something like that. But that's not what it says. It says it's for the mesh bed leveling. And Prusa himself explains this for if the bed goes like this slightly, it accounts for that. So, obviously, that does not work in the slightest. Now, this was all printing fine for me before, and somehow it's all of a sudden printing like this. So, what I'm going to do is. First off, I think maybe go down to auto bed level correct, and so I want the front side to be a bit lower or the nozzle to be a bit higher there. So I'm going to move that a bit higher. So this bit makes essentially the nozzle stay higher on this, and I'm just going to do that by say 15. So let's do that. Then go back up to settings, and I think. I think that's about right to be fair um, maybe the rear side but the rear side isn't too bad um, so I'm going to leave that as it is um, and see if that makes a difference what I'll do I'll reprint this now and I'll see you in a moment once that's done and we'll see how that looks with that done okay and we're back so with that change of the front side you can actually see it has made a difference so there's the top ones even that one looks slightly better so I'm not sure why that is um, and if you look down to the front ones coming close 
I mean, it still could do with being a little bit further away, but as you can see, it definitely has made a huge difference. And if we go to here, this is pretty much the same. So looking at these, most of them look like they're a little bit close. Um, even this one, well, in fact, this one looks like pretty, I don't know, it just, it's a very strange one. I have no idea why it's doing that. It's slightly there as well. Um, but apart from that, it actually is a nice layer. That's probably the, the best one on here, apart from that few errors in the center. So I think what I'm going to do is do one more try, and I'll probably live adjust the Z, maybe by uh, just like 20 microns or something, and see how it prints. I'm hoping it isn't too far away for these ones over here, um, but hopefully we'll make these ones just that little bit better. Um, because even at the back here, they're slightly too close. So that's why I will do that rather than just adjusting the front side once more. So I'm going to get to that now. And again, it takes about, oh, well, it takes 49 minutes to print actually. That's quite long. So I'm going to print that and I'll be back in a minute with the last part of this video and see how we do. Okay, so this one has finished now. Um, I live adjusted the Z to 25 microns. Um, lower, so the bed was lower, you know, nozzle higher by 25 microns, and it's definitely made a difference. I've had to turn the light on because it's getting a bit dark now. It does actually take a little while to print. Um, and as you can see, these are the front ones, and look at those. It's a tiny bit messed up there, but nothing anywhere near as bad. That one's actually really nice, and that one's not bad at all. And in the middle here, you can see, try and focus, that one is really nice. That one's perfect. That one, if I zoom in here, you can see it has that weird, again, that weirdness, where it's almost as if the filament doesn't stick there, or, or I don't know, it's just weird, it doesn't smush it down in certain bits, I have no idea why it does that, and there we go again, absolutely no idea why it doesn't do that there, and even in this one here, tiny bit there, but other than that, they look pretty decent actually, you see that one looks almost perfect, and this one here, nowhere near as bad as it was last time, and then this one, the same. So there's something in that middle area around here which is causing that weird kind of, I don't know what to say, it's obviously not under extrusion, it's just some type of weird, I, don't, I just don't know, I, I can't feel that it indents there or anything, um, I can't feel it lower, but I mean that's a good bit lower, um, it's probably about 50 mark ones worth, um, I'm not sure if you would be able to feel that with your just like your fingers. Um, so it seems like it's all the way kind of around here, um, and as far as I know, it, it usually extends to about um, extends to about kind of around here. Then it stops again. It gets nice around there. So it's just this little bit here. Again, no idea what it is, um, but at least I know now for prints not to have an edge of a print around here because then that may cause that to warp and lift. But otherwise, I think I've pretty much proven that the mesh bed leveling doesn't seem to work. Um, because I've had to tune that myself um, and they're still perfect layers and not perfect layers so I don't know what's with that maybe that'll be changed in the firmware upgrade I know there's a beta um, of some new firmware at the moment um, so maybe I'll install that and see how that goes um, and anyway uh, thanks for watching um, please let me know in your comments if you've had anything like this weird pattern in your bed and also if you found any bed up movements stuff like this um, one thing I did notice is that this you won't be able to see it on the camera this moves slightly, and when I looked around the sides, underneath there, let's try and focus there, I can actually see the bearing moving slightly. Um, it might be hard to see on camera, but it's almost as if the bearing is too big for the rods. But remember, I never had any of the problems with the bed for the first few weeks or month of printing, so I'm not sure why that would have caused a difference. Um, so yeah, that's the video for now. Please leave some comments if you have any opinions on this. Um, it would be good to read. See ya.